Okay, I'm just going to get started now. Well, welcome to today's Building Bridges class. Today's teachers are going to be me, Estelle, and Nikki is the second teacher. She's not here yet. I'm not sure when she's going to be coming in, but I'll probably have to keep checking back in the waiting room every few seconds or so. So, yeah. And this slide was for Nikki. Uh, we can go back to this later. So here's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to start off with conversation and reviewing homework as always, then lesson, game, then homework. So today's conversation and homework is kind of combined. So Sophia, what did you do to celebrate Chinese New Year? Mm, we have a big dinner on mm, December, December 29th. So that's the New Year's Eve. Oh, In, do you mean January? Yeah. Uh, yes. January, oops, January the 13th, the New Year's Eve, we always eat some great, great, oops, big dinner. Mm, I have my favorite food. My parents cook them. And I usually watch the uh, true one, just the New Year's celebration party like that and it's a t tv it's on tv oh i yeah. oh sorry continue we usually don't go go out just stay at home to celebrate it but when there's not coronavirus we usually go to travel to another place usually in not another coming and we can eat there we, we can eat food there like mm, when when the coronavirus is not like that we we go like Chongqing there we go to many places oh that sounds really fun so did you say that you usually travel to another continent? Yes. So what continents have you been to? Mm, I nearly forgot, forgot because mm, it is too long. Oh. Like, I think Chongqing is the last place we go. Oh, so... Do you remember anything special about Chongqing? Yes, we, we usually eat hot pots there. Very famous Chongqing hot pot. Ooh. Oh, during Chinese New Year, I actually ate hot pot with my family and friends. We had a big hot pot. So that was really fun. Oh, and you said that you had like a big dinner on the 13th or 30th? I couldn't tell, sorry. 30th, mm, it's the New Year's Eve be before, mm, before the New Year. Oh, so the New Year was on February 1st, right? Yes. Oh, so then the New Year's the Eve. Oh yeah? Sorry, could you say that again? Uh, New Year's Eve is the day, it's the night before the New Year. Yeah, so then did you mean January 31st if New Year's is on February 1st? Yes. Um, oh yeah, well, that sounds pretty fun. I had a pretty fun Chinese New Year too. I told you I ate hot pot, met up with some friends and family, and I didn't really go anywhere. So, did you guys do fireworks? No. Mm, the city where I live, I oh. think they, we can mm, have, the, have fireworks, but mm, I, I always hear some 
sound like fireworks, but I didn't see them. Oh, yeah. I know some neighborhoods close to where I live don't let people put use fireworks. But I did hear some fireworks around this time. Uh, oh, yeah. If you didn't see already, the new teacher, Nikki, joined. Hi. Hi. No, Nikki, do you want to introduce yourself to Sophia with these questions? Yeah, sure. Uh, hi, I'm Nikita. And so my name is, yeah, my name is Nikita and I go by Nikki. I'm 16 years old. I'm in 10th grade. I like to draw and paint and do art in my free time. I also like to play video games. Uh, my favorite food is Thai food. My favorite subjects, anything but math and world. <laughs> and then um, I want to be an AI engineer. It's like, you know, robots, like the people who design robots. And then I'm from India, but I've grown up in America. Yeah. Thanks, Nikki. That was very interesting. Oh, <laughs> so wait, do you, you want them to call you Nikki, right? Just to make sure. Yes. Nikita. Okay. So let's get on with today's lesson then. Yes. Well, today's lesson will be on the Olympics. When are the Olympics, Estelle? Oh, yeah, we're going to be talking about that in the next few slides. So, Nikki, do you want to start off with the Summer Olympics history? Yeah, sure. So it began in Greece, and then it started 3,000 years ago, and it was in the honor of the Greek god Zeus, like, you know, from the Greek mythology, so, like, you know, like that, like the overall god, like, you know, the biggest god, it's in honor of him to, like, represent him. Yeah. Yes. Oh, Sophia, have you heard of Greek gods and Greek mythology before? Hmm. I've heard some. Have you read, like, the stories of, like, Hercules and, like, Zeus and stuff? Yes. Yeah, it's in honor of him, so. <laughs> yeah. And the first modern Olympics were in, the eight, were in 1896, so, like, the way the Olympics works now, the first time they did that was in 1896. Yeah. And it's the world's biggest sports competition. And there's 33 different sports featured during it. And then in the winter, oh, in the Summer Olympics, yeah, there's 33 different sports that are featured. In the Winter Olympics, there's 15. So, yeah. And then it costs a lot of money because you have to pay uh, for the uh, equipment and the venues and all the stadiums. So it's around $5 billion to like organize everything. And yeah. Oh, and that's, <laughs> and that's the symbol for the Olympics. And that's where Greece is located. So that's where the Olympics started. Mm -hmm. So what's your favorite Olympic sport? Do you know any? Mm, let me think. My favorite Olympic sport, maybe, uh, I don't know how to mm, say it. Just you jump to into water like that. Oh, I don't know. Diving? Diving. Yes. Yeah. Oh, diving is so cool. Is there a reason? Very, like, it's nice. And my, our, our Ch Chinese, mm, uh, they, they are very good at diving. Oh, I haven't watched the Olympics that much, so I don't know anything about diving. <laughs> It's super cool to watch them dive into the water. And yes. my parents like diving a lot too. So we watch that sometimes. 
I now, think my favorite. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I think I don't have a favorite from the Summer Olympics, but from the Winter Olympics, it's definitely figure skating. So <laughs> graceful and pretty. <laughs> It's so cool to watch them do all their tricks and stuff when they're... Oh, yeah, you know... Mm -hmm. Uh, Sophia, have you ever seen, like, the people spin in the air when they're ice skating? Like, they jump and they spin. Yeah, it's like... I I like them. Yeah. And I I like ski. I like to watch them ski. It's very nice. Yeah. Yeah. And it's pretty cool. Right? They're so graceful. It's so pretty to watch. I've always wanted to try figure skating, but I never got to try it. (laughs) Now let's move on to Winter Olympics history. So here's some facts about the first winter sports competition. So it's not the Olympics yet. These are called the Nordic Games. The first big winter sports competition with like lots of countries was in 1896 and it was in Chamomix in the French Alps. So this is Northern Europe. There are only six sports, bobsleighing, ice hockey, Nordic skiing and skating. These sports competitions were always in Sweden. And only countries in Scandinavia competed. So I'm going to show a map of that later. The winter sports became a part of Olympics in 1925. So before that, their winter sports competitions were Nordic Games. And then it got added to the Olympics later. So... Here's where Scandinavia is on the map. As you can see, it's basically just Northern Europe over here. It has countries like Norway, Sweden, and Denmark. Do you know any other Winter Olympics events? I know we talked about figure skating already, but do you know any more, Sophia? Mm. I don't know. That's okay. We're going to talk about a lot of them uh, right now. (laughs) Is there any, like, have you seen anything that you don't know the name of, but you thought was cool in the Winter Olympics? Like, you know how you said diving? Like, is there anything like diving that you like, that you know of? I'm, I can't, because I don't really know what the, uh, What's something you you have there? Uh, what is bob sleighing? What's that? Oh, bob sleighing. It's like there's like a sled, and it's like I don't know how to describe it. It's like it's like this, and there's yeah. a back and a front, and then you like lay flat on it like this, and then you go down a hill. <laughs> you can post oh, a picture. I... Bob sleigh. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh, I think I know it. Yeah. Yeah. Down the hill. Mm-hmm. I don't think I've watched Bob Slang before. It looks fun. Yeah, I have. What do they compete for Bob Slang? Probably just racing, right? I honestly have no idea. I have no <laughs> idea. Racing. Yeah. yeah. Usually, many, many people, many people, they compete against each other. Yes. Yeah, yeah. that's what it looks like too. To race, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh. So, whoops. What? What's that? Oh, uh, wait, Sophia, where, did you ask a question? Uh, what is Nordic skiing? Nordic skiing is, uh, we'll explain it in the next slide, yeah. but it's a combination of two sports. I think I wrote it on the next slide, so oh, we'll find okay. out. 
Yeah. So here's some facts about the past Olympics. So the Olympics have been hosted in 19 different countries. What are some cities you know that have hosted the Olympics? So Sophia, do you know any like cities? The, the last one, Tokyo. Mm -hmm. yeah. Tokyo. You know what this year's is? <laughs> um, this year, um, just Beijing. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's in Beijing. Yeah, that's pretty it's cool. In China. Mm -hmm. Do you live near Beijing? No. Uh, Beijing is, um, let me see. I live there in the south of China. Um, oh. Very south. Yeah. And Beijing is, um, it is it's very far. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Oh, here's a picture from the first Olympics in 1896. So this is in Greece. And 1984 Olympics in the US. And the 2008 Olympics in China. Here, Nikki, you can do this slide. Okay, so this year in Beijing, we're doing, they're doing the Winter Olympics. So it's from February 3rd to February 20th, which is like starting yesterday mm -hmm. to uh, the end of this month. So do you have any events that you're excited to watch? Mm, yes, just mm, let me see. Uh, it is mm, just you jump from a high place and and skate do skating like oh. that. Oh, I so feel like I how to say. Yeah, I feel like a lot of sports do that. Like I know there's yeah. like even skiing where they like go up a ramp and snowboarding too. I know there's like five different. I, each. My my favorite events are mm, on snow, not on ice. Oh, like mm -hmm. snowboarding and like uh skiing, those. Yes. Do you like do, you, do you, like have you ever skied before? Mm, yes, I think so. But I it's when I'm little, just grade two, and I now I don't know how to ski. <laughs> it's okay. I practice you can learn again yeah oh i went skiing before and my dad actually he broke his arm <laughs> when we were skiing you're so gonna ski want to encourage now to i can't ski i can't ski now because in our city there it's never snowing yeah here too we got one day of snow but then we never get snow after yeah. that and like when we do get a snow it snow it's not a lot at all but this yeah. time it was a lot like for our mm -hmm. city yeah. this time we got we got a good amount but usually we don't get that much yeah usually it's mm -hmm. like it's like it's like this much <laughs> snow <laughs> it's yeah. like nothing so, do you prefer to watch the Winter Olympics or the Summer Olympics? Um, Winter Olympics, because Summer Olympics is not very fun. And I it does race and does, it doesn't do much mm, beautiful things. I know, right? The Winter Olympics is just so graceful and it's so pretty mm -hmm. and there's so Oh, and ice yeah and like and it's so pretty <laughs> yeah i agree but like in summer olympics there's so many more sports but winter olympics the snow makes it really fun to watch so yes. yeah it's see both sides oh and welcome elsa i think she just joined this class so oh we have a new teacher today nikki so hi yeah we're just talking about the olympics 
Yeah. Um, Hi. <laughs> let's go on to some actual sports now. Okay, so this slide is about skiing. There's like many different types of skiing. So the first type of skiing is uh, alpine or downhill skiing, and it's sliding down on snowy slopes on skis with fixed wheel binded bindings. So like they have these things to make sure your feet don't fall off the ski, and then you slide down a mountain. <laughs> and whoever can go down the fastest, I think. And then ski jumping is like, you're also going down a ramp or like a mountain, but you have to jump it's like like that and you have to jump over something to get to the other side. And yeah, and then you're trying to aim for as like, you're trying to aim for as like high as you can get. Mm -hmm. So the next one is cross country skiing and in cross country skiing you only use the toe of your boot and the toe of your boot is attached to your ski and then it may have been practiced in 600 BCE in Dashing Ling is that what it's called Estelle uh that's good enough <laughs> good enough okay <laughs> Yeah. If you oh. guys know how to say tell me too. So yeah. And then the last one is freestyle skiing and skiers can perform spins and flips and you can also do like tricks on skis. Yeah. So they have all yeah. four types of skiing in the Olympics, which is pretty cool because there's like not just a one skiing event there's four which is kind of yeah. a lot so what skiing event would you like to try sophia you want to answer first maybe ski jumping it looks very cool like flying i feel like i'd be scared of ski jumping because if i like miss the land i'm gonna fall <laughs> That's true, but like the exhilaration that you would get. No, all I feel is fear. Really? <laughs> Do you like? I'd be so. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. What? Uh, sorry. I think I was, I was gonna ask if you liked roller coasters. Then I feel like this ski jumping would be similar to that. No, but roller coasters like you're protected by the what's it called. Oh. The belt, you're protected by the belt, but during ski jumping, you just jump. <laughs> so if you fall, there's no one to catch you. Well, these people are experts, so. Oh, yes. Sophia, Sophia, do you like roller coasters then, if you like ski jumping? Mm, not, not very. I don't like it very much because you are going to row and I always feel sick. Oh yeah, like roller. You feel like nauseous, right? Yeah, I sometimes feel that too. Like on roller coasters, especially. Hey, oh, Elsa. I really. Oh, sorry. Yeah. I really like roller coasters, so I don't know why I'd be scared of this, but I feel like this is a lot more scarier because there's nothing to protect you. <laughs> How about Elsa? Uh, Elsa, which skiing event would you try? <laughs> mm. I'll look pretty dangerous if we don't Freestyle. know what we're doing. Freestyle. Freestyle ski. Mm, that one looks pretty cool. Is there a reason why you chose freestyle skiing over all of the other ones? Yeah. Yeah. So why do you like freestyle skiing? Because I think it is 
it uh, because I think it is cool and it is far fun. Mm -hmm. It does look pretty cool and fun too. Yeah, and you can do whatever you feel like in this event. So you can show off all your cool tricks to all your friends. <laughs> I think I would be most interested in trying this one too, but only if I was like, actually, if I actually knew how to ski, if I'm where I'm at right now, I would not do any of these. <laughs> yes. I would like fall down the hill while trying to do a trick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these people are like so good at skiing when they do yes. these clips. I think this event would be fun too because you can show all your friends like look at all my cool. <laughs> <laughs> I Sophia, like the... would you? Oh, sorry. Hmm? Oh yeah, you can ask Sophia. Sophia, would you like to uh show any of your friends your cool skiing tricks? Yes, but I think when I do tricks, I I think I just fall down <laughs> <laughs> and make them laugh. <laughs> what about you, Alpha? Mm, my my friend is not uh my friend does doesn't like this sport because they think it's very dangerous and it's very cold. They like to they like to go to some like mall and they like shopping, shopping, shopping. <laughs> shop. Yes. I also like to shop. Shopping is very fun. <laughs> but these events all look super fun. I agree, Estelle. Okay, okay let's the move next on. set of sports. Next set of sports we're going to talk about is skating. The first type of skating is speed skating. You skate around the track, and whoever finishes with the shortest time wins. So. Then there's short track speed skating. This is the same as speed skating, but on a shorter track. So that's why it's called short track. Um, yeah. And figure skating. This is what we were talking about earlier. This is performance on the ice with jumps, turns, and dance movements. You are graded on technical elements and artistry. Is figure skating. Yeah, this is the one I really liked. <laughs> Which type of skating would you most like to do or try? Sophia, can you answer first again? Maybe figure skating. You can do tricks on ice. Yeah. And it is just like you dance on ice. Yeah, um, it's like doing ballet. I don't. You do ballet? Mm, no, I just I I never learned to dance, but I think it might be fun. But speed skating, like, mm, it is just like racing, but I don't like it very much. Yeah. What about you, Elsa? Mm. I like short track speed skating. Why do you like short track speed skating the most? Um, because I think, uh, first it's it likes speed skating, but if I if I do speed skating, I think. Uh, the I think I think someone were will will hurt. And so short track speed skating is a short is a short uh, is a shorter track. I think uh there are there are not uh they are there there were not um, many people. <laughs> so, so maybe I hurt, but the people can't hurt. 
<laughs> yeah, it's pretty scary if you get hurt. Yeah. I would probably try this for like just the energy I would get. It looks nice like that. Energy. But figure skating. Energy. Yeah. Like the rush, you know. But figure skating is like definitely the coolest for me. Like I've tried ice skating. I can't do tricks at all, but I can skate. I just can't do like, what they're doing. Even like watching figure skating, it's so graceful, you know? They're like skating, it's so pretty to watch. Mm -hmm. My favorite skating event is figure skating. Same. <laughs> so cool to watch. Let's go to the next set of winter sports with boards. First, we have snowboarding. This is the sport or activity of traveling down snowy sports using a snowboard. It first became an Olympic sport in 1998, like this. The next sport is the luge. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. This is also called luge tobogganing. This is a form of small sled racing, and it's the only sliding sport measured to the thousandth of a second. Looks like this. <laughs> it looks so fun. And the skeleton. Someone rides a small sled down a frozen track while lying face down and head first. This is named skeleton because of how the sled looks. The last one is bobsled. Ooh, this is what we were looking at earlier. So this is racing in a bobsled. It is a team sport. It's named bobsled because other athletes would bob, bob back and forth to go faster. Sleds can reach speeds of more than 80 miles per hour. That's really fast. Yeah, it's like going super fast down a hill. That seems pretty scary though. Yeah. It's like very scary if you fall. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm interested that when the when some some athletes do bobsled, how could the three athletes mm, behind the athlete on the bobsled can stay the speed and don't and they don't fall down. They can, they all just stay. But how? They can't run too fast. Yeah, good they're, question. If they're going 80 they're, miles per hour, I don't think they can hang on. I think they're trained though. Like they do a lot of practice. So when they actually do the event, it's a lot easier because they already practiced. Oh, wait. Maybe they are, maybe they just, Stay on the bobsled, mm -hmm. and they doesn't run after it. Mm -hmm. Oh, can we watch a video of bobsled race right now? Because have you guys ever watched a bobsled race? No. Yeah, me I have. There. Let's see. Oh, wait. that's really loud. Wait, can you guys hear my sound? Yes. No. Oh, like the sound of the video. It was very loud. Oops. Oh, oh no. Oh, something happened. Sorry. Okay, let's try again. Uh, wait, when I played the video, could you hear the sound? Yeah. Of the video? Hear a little. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then she... Okay, maybe I should mute this. It's kind of loud. Let's see, skip. Oh, yeah, there's oh, there's space for three people. Oh. Oh, they all sit in the bobsled. I thought it was like this picture. They pushed the person. It looks so fun. It's like a roller coaster, mm -hmm. but on the snow. Yeah, and you're actually like in the uh, bobsled. So it seems safer than like snowboarding. 
Yeah. Also, but, like, yeah. I wonder what they're racing though. Like, you know, when they're racing, if all the bobsleds are going at the same time, how do they know who wins? <laughs> Maybe they just. How do in. they? How do they go faster if they yeah. are My all question. on on the bobsled? Yeah. So many questions. No idea. <laughs> <laughs> But the one where you like slide on your belly or you sit on your belly looks super fun too. Like yeah, you the... lie face down. These two. They look super fun. So, oh, how about Elsa? Which one of these interests you the most? I like the bob sled. sled. The bob sled? Oh, the video we just yeah. watched. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I think it likes roller coaster, and I like play it. You like roller coasters? Yeah. Yeah, me too. Me too. So that video looks super fun. Honestly, most of these look pretty fun. I've like seen lots of people go snowboarding, and it seems like if you aren't like very very good so many people fall down yeah but, it's like if you fall mm -hmm. and you're just left no until the game is over <laughs> kind of i think snowboarding is really cool and i i saw that um, they tie their shoes on the board so they don't fall down yeah i think but, the board oh I, sorry but I think Bob last last is is safe because you are in a car and you if you hurt there are three people there are three people you will you will feel you are happy because it's not only you hurt. Uh, <laughs> that, that's a strange idea. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, but like if you're inside the sled anyways, how do they even control the turns and stuff? Like That's what like, I was thinking. Yeah. How do it work? I don't know. Yeah. It's a Mysterious. research question. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. On the um the snowboarding when I it's similar to skis. They have the velcro, like the thing you put your shoe in, that part's attached to the board. And then you can put your feet on the board and Velcro your shoes on there. I don't know if that made sense. But like when you're done snowboarding, just take off your Velcro. You can slip your feet out. Oh. Yeah. So that that means you don't want you you don't need you don't need to worry that you fall down from the board. I mean, I guess it depends on a lot of factors like balance, those type of things. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Um, oh. oh, Nikki, you want to um, do this one? Yeah. So these are the remaining sports that we didn't talk about. The first sport we didn't talk about yet is a biathlon, and it's a combination of cross country skiing and rifle shooting. So, I like if you remember from the other slide what cross country skiing is, they ski and they're also like shooting at the same time. Like oh, they're yeah. doing like. So there are, um, I he I've heard that there are um, from when you are hunting on snow, when it's snowing. So I. Um, some people will hunt on the snowy ground, so they just ski and shoot. Oh, that sounds cool. I have I don't think I've heard of that before, but yeah. so that that's like that. When some some people hunt in winter, they just like ski and. Shoot 
and should um, in the same time. Yeah, I think that's like really similar to this biathlon. Yeah, they like aim, but then they're also skiing. <laughs> okay, so the next one we're going to talk about is Nordic Combined. So this one is a combination of cross-country skiing and ski jumping. So you ski like down a hill or something, or like you ski across the terrain, but then you also jump. So, yeah. Uh, the next one is curling. It's a Canadian sport. It's originated from Canada, and it's a sport similar to ice hockey, where there's a stone it's like this big, and then they have it on the ice, and you have to slide it around into a ring in the middle of the ice rink. I've I've seen that on TV. It's very um. Let me. See. It's very interesting. My mother and I like it, but my father says it's boring. I think it's boring too. <laughs> um, I mean, um, you would. I guess it depends on like if you like watching people slide stones into <laughs> but i'm really interesting because they use they don't wear the uh skating shoes they just wear the uh the shoes we always wear mm, yeah. maybe if you pay attention on their shoes you will cover it's not like the shoes mm, Skating people usually wear. They just like mm, the common shoes we just always wear. Yeah. Also, what about you? What do you think about these sports? Mm. I like, uh, I think. Uh, let me see. I think. Oh, there's pictures. Sorry. Oh, yes. And there's also pictures. So the first one is ice hockey. The next one is Nordic combined, the blue one. The third one is um, biathlon. And then the last one is curling. I think mm, it's... Uh, yeah. So, oh. Uh, did you pick which one you liked yet? Yes. Yeah. So, which one is your favorite? I like ice. Uh, oh, hockey. <laughs> is this hockey or hockey? Yeah, hockey, oh. ice hockey. Ice hockey. Mm, because I think it's very exciting. It's like soccer. Yes, it's like soccer, mm -hmm. but with a stick. And you can ice skate. But, but it's, soccer is use the foot to play, but this is used as a stick to play and i think it's it's very interesting mm -hmm. yeah. yeah i heard that i i don't like ice hockey very much because the ball is too small and the athletes are too fast and i usually can't find where is the ball oh <laughs> yes <laughs> they're moving so fast that you mm -hmm. can't even tell where the puck is and then they like have the buzzer whenever they score a goal but then i can never see who score <laughs> yeah it's so small i wonder how but it should be okay for them to see it on the field right so yeah. and people play my, my, we we always think the curling athletes they always like cleaning the floor 
<laughs> oh, that's so funny. <laughs> they just use their uh like uh thing like uh a broom or like and they yeah. just like they are cleaning the floor and <laughs> it's very fun. Yeah, that's a good comparison. <laughs> and, oh, I've also heard with ice hockey, it can get pretty violent with players. Depending, oh yeah, on... people mm-hmm. apparently some people like if they get really aggressive, they can hurt others with the stick. So like, go so, like that and like, accidentally hurt someone. So it's kind of dangerous. And like when you're running into each other, the blades of your ice skates could, like, hurt someone else. Yeah. So it is similar to soccer in that way, too, because soccer can also get pretty violent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like soccer, but... Yeah, I think uh, if if they... It's like uh, golf and soccer both. Because their ball, their their bat are like a uh, golf balls. Oh yeah, like, like mm-hmm. the their sticks. I don't know what to call it. Their sticks are similar to the sticks sticks they use in golf too. <laughs> yeah, the thing, the thing I with the. I don't know the correct vocabulary for these terms. I'm just calling them. Hey. <laughs> As you can tell, we are not sports people. <laughs> we are not mm-hmm. educated on sports at all. <laughs> yeah, but oh, this one looks really fun too. The Nordic combined because you're skiing and jumping. Oh, it looks so dangerous. Yeah, but that's also like all of these sports except curling. Curling doesn't really <laughs> look dangerous. If you don't see where when with where what they are doing, just see the athletes. You think they are just cleaning the floor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Honestly. if you put that in a house, it's just like a man who's cleaning the floor. So funny. <laughs> Okay, what's yeah. the question for this slide, Estelle? Oh, so, oh, the same one. Which sport seems the most interesting to you? Well, we kind of answered this already. I know Sophia really likes curling, and Elsa really likes ice hockey. So, oh, Elsa, have you ever played ice hockey before? Uh, no. No. I think I know of someone here that's played ice hockey before we have a few ice rinks close to where we live my my big brother played ice hockey because he think his eyes are very good and and uh, he wa- he likes play it because he can play with his his classmates so it is funny oh. <laughs> Have you ever watched him play? Um yes, but I want to play. He he says you are a girl, you can't play it. But uh, but sometimes but sometimes my mother played with me. I'm not very good good at it, but I like it. Yeah. Well, that was not a very good thing for your brother to say. Yeah, you can play whatever you want. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so my mother or sister play with me. Well, yay. That's good. Bye. And Sophia, have you ever tried curling? Or no, just... I just watch it on TV, but I think it is fun because it don't need speed, but it needs skills. Yeah. You, when you like clean the floor, do you, can you like pretend that you're curling? <laughs> <laughs> That's fun. I when I didn't 
see it, I just, when I just see the picture, I think they use the stick to mm, hit it and score. But now I, I see they can't touch, touch the ball uh, with the stick. They just clean the floor. <laughs> it's okay. Next time you want to play curling, if your mom or dad gets mad at you for not doing your chores, you can say, Mom, I'm cleaning the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Next time I'm cleaning the floor, I'm going to imagine that I'm curling. <laughs> Be a professional curler. <laughs> mm -hmm. Ooh. So oh. Game. Yeah. We have a few minutes left for the game today, and this is what we're playing today. So I'm going to try to explain this. So one person will give a word of something. The next person to go has to say a word that begins with the last letter of your word. So if we choose the category animals and I say, what, dog? The last letter of dog is G. So the next person has to name an animal that starts with the letter G. So does that make sense? Or oh, yes. We can try, can try that. Go. Oh, who Ooh. said they want to go first? Nikki, was that you? Okay, sure. <laughs> oh, do you, we can just go. This is the order I see you guys on my screen. So it's me and then Sophia and then Nikki and then Elsa. Okay, that's fine. Okay. That's fine. Okay. Nikki, you can go then. And then Elsa and then me and Sophia. Okay. So it can be anything. Do you know what category do you guys want to do? Should we just do animals? Yes, just animals. They are easy. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. So I'm gonna start off with giraffe. Elsa, so you're the next. last letter is E. e. Yeah. <laughs> Elsa, can you think of a letter? I mean, not a letter. An animal with E. Elephant. Yes, elephant. So, T. Oh, that's me. I'm next, so. Tiger. T. Tiger, yes. Uh, ah, rabbit. T again. T-Rex. T-Rex. Sure. <laughs> I mean, it's an animal and it starts with T. I don't see why not. Okay. Oh, wait, the next egg. one is an F. Oh. oh. You made it so hard for Elsa. Wait, let me think. <laughs> What's the letter? Eggs. Eggs. Is there any word start with X? X. X. <laughs> I, I can't think any more stuff. I can't either. Maybe we oh. just make another. Guys, how okay. about this? X-ray dog. <laughs> <laughs> G. Oh, giraffe G. again. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have said dog. Well, how about this? No repeating animals so it doesn't get boring. Yes. So... I guess I said x-ray dog. I don't know. <laughs> so. And Sophia, you're after me. Uh, what's the letter? G. No, oh, G. G. Uh, let me see. Gorilla. G. Gorilla, A. Armadillo. Armadillo. Uh, what's that animal? It's like the shell animal. It has like a shell and it's like plated and it like goes in a circle whenever it's scared. Yeah. It like rolls, it can roll up into a ball and the shell is like, it's scaly. I don't know how to describe that. It has like, it's hold on. Don't Bro, see picture. I'll just pull up a picture. Oh, it's like, I think. And, oh, 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 I, I know it. Croissant. Do you guys know what a croissant is? It's so scary. <laughs> the armadillo is scary? Really? I thought it was so cute. Yes. You have a croissant, like the food. It's like a 
a hamster with shell. Yeah, <laughs> I I think it's like hamster like a snake. It it likes a hamster's oh, leg. Like a, a hamster's uh, head and a snake's snake's uh, body. Oh, and I know. A it's like a tail. It's like a kangaroo and walk with four legs. Oh, kangaroo, kangaroo, and kangaroo, 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 yeah. and it doesn't jump and it has a shell. Yeah, kangaroo <laughs> minus the pouch. Plus the <laughs> yeah, I think you can see that kind of like the head. Yeah. Oh, this is an armadillo. Mm. Armadillo yeah. ends in O. Wait, who said armadillo again? It ends and with O. Yeah. It's Elsa. Oh, 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 oh. I, I know. Dummy. Oh. Uh, octopus. Octopus. Yeah. Yes. Yes, but there's another easier word. Uh, it's okay. We can just do octopus. Octopus, octopus is a long word. What's octopus? the easier? I think is owl. Oh, oh, that's yeah. <laughs> well, we can do octopus. I guess octopus ends in s. Yes. So, uh, yes. gets s. Seal, oh. s e a l, like the thing uh, that lives in the Arctic. Wow. Yes, I, I know that type ball. Yeah. It's yes. L. Ooh, it's a strange one. L. Lizard. Uh, what did you say? Lizard. Lizard, yeah. D. Can I say dog? You said X-ray dog. <laughs> well, I also used it as an example. <laughs> okay, let me do one. Oh wait, I have to tell you guys the homework too. So oh, yes, yeah. So here's this week's homework. Did you watch the Winter Olympics? If so, what was your favorite moment? So, yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. That's all we have for class this week. And we hope to see you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye.